So now let's see how we can work around with the onion skinning tool inside of Blender. So if I were to go around over here onto the 2D animation mode, as you can see, I can go around and then click on draw. If I were to draw this out, then you can see that this is what I have. I can go around onto the next frame right here by using the arrow key. And as I go around, you can see that the drawing is still there. I can draw around another drawing right here and you can see that the other drawing fades out. That is because of onion skinning. I can go around onto the other frame and then draw out just like this as well. And you can see that there's another drawing right there. Go around onto the other side and then I can take a reference and then draw out as well. And you can see that as well. So now you can see that there's certain reins of onion skinning going on right here, but you don't see all the drawings at once. So if you want to increase or decrease the reins, then you can go around over here onto the object data properties. And here you can see onion skinning is an option where you can work around with the opacity of the onion skinning right here or increase the opacity. So usually you want to have the opacity down and you can also go around and then increase out the reins of uh, keyframes over here as well. So you see more or less right here. So you see more as you increase the A right here. So you see about 98 frames right here and B you can increase and decrease and you see more or less drawings just like that as you can see. And that is how you can work around with onion skinning inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.